Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Catherine from A Perfect Place to Start and today we're going to be using some unfinished wood pumpkins from Hobby Lobby to create some super cute and easy pumpkins. So let's jump in and get started. So we're gonna start out with these wood pumpkins from Hobby Lobby and I just really like these. I've used them a few times this season. I like the wood slats in between the pumpkins. I just think it gives it a fun look. And then we're gonna take a old calendar page and I'm going to trace the pumpkin onto the back of the calendar page and cut it out. So today's video is part of the foodie DIY challenge put on by my dear friend Nadia at DIY with Nadia as well as her co-host the Crafting Cousins. So if you haven't checked out their channels before I will put them in the description box below along with the playlist. Make sure you go and check out all the fun pumpkin inspired DIYs that people come up with today. So this pumpkin turned out to be kind of hard to um, trace because there's a lip on the bottom and so every time I turned it over there was a gap between the calendar page and the pumpkin. So I decided to just kind of tape the calendar page to the pumpkin so that I could kind of trace around at least most of it and then fill in the blanks when I took the tape off. So once I have that cut out, I'm going to paint the pumpkin this truffle brown color from Waverly Chalk Paint. And I just go ahead and cover both sides of the pumpkin with the paint. So now I'm going to measure between each slat because I'm going to cut out my calendar page to fit into each slat of the pumpkin and I want the slat part to show so I want it to cut it just slightly shorter than each piece so that you see the brown paint in between the calendar pages. So we're ready to cut them out and I'm just going to glue them onto the pumpkin with the Mod Podge and then I go over the top of it with Mod Podge as well. And then when I turn it over there is a little bit of a lip from the um, back part so I just use my X-Acto knife and cut that off. And so now I have some jute rope and I'm going to glue the jute rope to the bottom of the pumpkin. I don't want any of the calendar part to show, I just want the picture to show so I'm covering up that red calendar part that is at the bottom of our pumpkin. Once we have the rope all glued on there and the calendar part 
covered up, we're going to take a pre-made bow from the Dollar Tree and glue it to the side to cover up the other part of the calendar page. And here you have it. I think it turned out super cute and I just love um, the look of the calendar page anyway, but the pumpkins and the ribbon and the twine all go really well together and I just really love how it turned out. So we're ready to do our other pumpkin and um, I, you could have just turned this pumpkin over and done this on the other side if you wanted to. I have another video where I use this pumpkin two ways and I'll post that here. Um, but I decided to do two separate ones today. So I am using cashew paint and it's really light but you cover the whole pumpkin with it and at the bottom I'm using that truffle paint again and painting the stand part. So now I'm going to take my favorite stencil, which is the Buffalo Check stencil, and I've done a few projects with that. I will link those projects in the description box in case you're interested in checking them out. But we're going to turn it over and we're using the truffle paint to paint in the Buffalo Check. And we're just using a stencil brush from the Dollar Tree and we're going to cover in the entire pumpkin with this stencil. So we're ready to add these leaves to the top of our pumpkin stem and I apologize I didn't realize the stem was not in the video. But we're just going to take some hot glue and glue these to the bottom of our stem and then we're going to take a pre-made bow that I picked up at the Dollar Tree and we're going to add that to the stem as well. I've used these pre-made bows a couple other times in some other videos and they really are a great deal. You get two of them for a dollar at the Dollar Tree and they do sell these same bows at Hobby Lobby for quite a bit more. So so if you're not into bow making or you're looking for something really easy and fast and fun, these are a great alternative to making your own bow. So here's the final look of our project and I really love the subtle tones of the browns for the buffalo check. I think it's really beautiful and the plaid bow I think they kind of are a nice contrast together. My only critique would be at the bottom there's a little bit of white space and I probably could have turned the stencil over and gave it a little bit more of the buffalo check on the bottom. If you liked today's video I hope you consider giving me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel I hope you consider doing so. Hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified every time I make a new video. Thanks for joining me today and wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start. Till next time.